what is up guys this is Reaper back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Horizon Android drum and the codename is Vega and this is the version 2.1 official build and this is the 13th February 2024 build. If you don't know how to flash this ROM, you can check out the flashing guide from the description. And this is the Erofs build, so the recovery and stuff will be present in the description too. In the Android version, you will get the Horizon Droid logo up there. And we have the Horizon Droid release version, version 2.1. And this is for Suite, that is the code name for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And the maintainer's name is present, that's unmoved. So huge thanks to the developers of this ROM. And we have the Android version as Android 14. Of course, this ROM is based on Android 14, so you get the easter egg. Then we get the security patch that is of latest February 5th, 2024. The stock kernel here is the 4.14 Strix kernel and we have the build number and the Linux status shows up as enforcing. Also in here in the about phone section, you will get a battery information. If you just go into it, you will have the battery charging cycle count. And you can see my device has about 349 battery charging cycles. By the way, the settings panel definitely looks unique. I have to say in this ROM, as you can see, this is how it looks like. It has this separate battery and the storage section, and it shows how much has left for the battery and how much storage you have filled. Definitely gives you a totally different look of the settings panel. Now let's talk about the stock launcher. Well, this is how it looks like to the left of the stock launcher. We have the Google's discover page. It is a smooth experience. I have to say swiping up will get you to the app drawer and swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel in the light theme. Everything stays white, even in the quick setting panel. This ROM has definitely a unique look. And these are the toggles that I have added, not going to show you everything. And in the power menu, this is how it looks like. And you do have the advanced reboot. So you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here. Talking about the widgets. Yes, they too are working perfectly fine. As you can see the opening up animation. And even the battery widget and stuff is working perfectly fine and everywhere in the settings you go you will have a separate animation as you can see in the bluetooth settings it shows an animation like this so yeah you get the idea you will get really cool looking ui all over the places by the way was talking about the stock launcher well you do get the pixel launcher present by default here so it doesn't have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but it does have the suggestion displaying option if you need that and I have disabled the suggestions and everything with this pixel launcher. It's very smooth experience. I have to say and the stock wallpaper has this really cool look. It has this Vega and fight open source agency It shows on the bottom. You will get this kind of looking wallpaper over here and in the lock screen. Let me show you. This is how it looks like for me and it looks really, really nice. And yes, you can have the always on display and stuff. If you turn on always on display, this is how it will look. You can also use double tap to sleep or double tap to wake. Both are working fine. And the fingerprint scanner also is working fine. I'll talk about it later on. Talking about the stock camera, you do get the Leica camera version 5 right out of the box. And as you can see, we have this swiping down to get all these settings. And you have the Leica style and stuff like authentic and vibrant. Both are there. And you do have the lens switching option, the ultra wide angle lens, the 1x and the 2x option. Everything is there. In the video settings, yes, there is up to 4K and 60 fps option. But that won't work simply because this device does not support that. So you can go 4K but you have to stick with 30 fps if you are going 4k otherwise you can shoot 1080p 60 fps videos no problems with it as you can see right now i have selected 1080p 60 fps these are working fine and there is a pro mode as well you can shoot pro mode videos up to again 4k 30 fps and we have the documents mode right here you can shoot enhanced mode documents if you want to then we have the portrait mode and all everything should be working fine with it as you can see the portrait mode pictures are working perfectly fine and if you just swipe up you will get the different kind of options like the vlog, short film, then the slow motion, every option is right there. So you do get the idea. The Leica camera version 5 has really cool options, I have to say. You will also get this night video option, I guess. And you can shoot night mode videos. You cannot change the resolution, I guess. But yeah, you do have the option for the night mode videos. And we have the 64 megapixel mode as well. Now let's talk about the basic things. For the DRM info, it shows as L1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. The IR Blaster here also works perfectly fine, as you can see. It does have the play integrity showing as device integrity supports and we have the basic integrity support as well. So banking apps will be working perfectly fine here. Also in the Play Store, it shows device is certified. So that's a really nice thing to have, I would say. And in Google Photos as well, it shows this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos. So you do get that feature of having unlimited photos and videos back up here. By the way, talking about calling and the Wi-Fi stuff, yes, networks are working perfectly fine. If you insert a Volte SIM card or 4G SIM card, it will be working perfectly fine. Volte calling as well will be working. You get the Google dialer and the Google's messaging app and all. You can have the call recording option with the beep and stuff. By the way, the auto brightness here is also working fine. right? Now, I do not have auto brightness turned on. That's why it shows disabled kind of icon over here, but auto brightness 
is working i have tested that no issues with that i'll show you the customizations in the later part of the video but let's go into the display settings this is how it looks like and it has all these animations everywhere we have the brightness level right here then we have the adaptive or auto brightness we also have the one shot brightness right here in the lock screen we have the privacy controls right here and we have the add text option use device controls and even the shortcuts for the lock screen you can customize no problems with it we have the dynamic clock then the always show time and info and the pocket detection then the wake screen for notification we have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes and we have the screen attention mode as well we have the dark theme right here you can schedule it if you want to and we have the icon manager these are the headset bluetooth etc icon customization for the status bar display size and text is of course here then we have the nightlight you can schedule it and change the intensity of it if you want to then we have the live display customization in here we have the display mode and there is the outdoor brights and mode and stuff in case you want to use those we have the reading mode the color calibration and even the picture adjustment options are there let me go back we have the auto red screen you can change it up to 180 to 70 degrees then we have the refresh rate and there is a really cool option that it supports this adaptive refresh rate so once the device stays idle it will automatically switch to 60 hertz i guess if you have turned down this option so this is really nice but all over the ui 120 hertz is working perfectly fine and i have been using it no problem so far with it there is a double tap to wake then the tap to sleep option both are working and we have the full screen apps in the ambient display we also have the pickup option right here so pickup gesture is also working i'll show you that later here in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like and in here if you go to the more wallpapers these are the wallpapers that you will get and there is a minerals option then we have the living universe the live wallpapers of pixel you can say all these things you can download and we have the community lens options then even more other options are there just like a pixel device and we also have the ai wallpapers as well by the way i have been using the default wallpaper over here and we have the emoji workshop kind of mode as well and in the home screen option you will also get the themed icons and the app grid you can set up to 5x5 five five. in the normal lock screen mode you can actually switch the clocks as you can see all the android 14 clocks are present over here we have the shortcuts changing option again and the mode lock screen kind of settings and we have the sound and vibration settings right here we get the media call ring etc volume controls right here we get the do not disturb kind of customization we also have the adaptive sound and the smart pause then we have the media kind of options and we have the vibration and haptic feedback for the whole UI and we also have the notification sound then the alarm sound etc always show icon when in vibrate mode option is there there is additional sound settings separately so that's really nice you can customize them or turn them off if you don't like them and we also have the me sound enhancer or the me audio direct that is present we can use this youth edition and stuff but there is also this Dolby atmos if you just go into it you can customize it or turn it on i guess for different kind of presets you can also set a custom preset if you want to so we get both the me audio dirac and the dolby atmos as well we also have the clear speaker option and then we have the haptic feedback you can customize it for the whole ui now for bluetooth and all if we have this connected device kind of settings and in here it will show you your connected devices so that's really nice you can also go into the other preference and you can connect the quick share kind of stuff android auto all these things the nearby share is right now quick share guys so that's how it is let me go back and in the app section in here let me show you yes that animation is also present and in here you will get the clone apps that is the dual apps so you can have two accounts for whatsapp or stuff like that you can definitely enjoy all of those features then in the notifications if you just go into it we will have the flash notification option and if you just want to preview it yes that is actually working fine now let's talk about the battery settings this is how it looks like again this animation i'm liking over here and if you just scroll down a little bit more we have the battery usage the battery saver the battery percentage we also get the k profiles right here so we have the k profiles mode and you can change it to performance if you want to but i have been using with the auto k profile mode then we also have the per app refresh rate you can change it up to 60 or 120 hertz but talking about battery life let me just go into the echo battery app the screen on time here it shows about five and a half hours so i would say that's a decent amount of battery life because i did not replace the battery from the beginning so it has been almost three plus years i guess i would say five and a half hours of screen on time it's pretty decent you can push it up to like six hours if you're using battery saver i would say the screen off here it shows 55 hours so that's more than two days worth of standby and even the combine use shows as 32 hours that's again more than one day of usage and the fast charging here is also working fine no need to worry about it 
on the bottom you will get the system settings and again you get a really cool looking animation and in here in the gestures we have the quickly open camera option then we have the navigation mode in the settings of it we have the swipe to invoke assistant for some reason the swipe to invoke assistant right now is not working but we have the left edge right edge customization there is no option to actually change the thickness of the pill bar or change the length of the pill bar that's how it is we have the hide gesture bar option so you can definitely hide this pill bar if you want to let me go back we have the three button navigation as well and we also have the one handed mode that too should be working fine then we have the swipe quick screenshot yes that is also working fine we have the share edit and the delete option and we also have the playback control the quick torch option then we have the double tap to check phone and the prevent ringing if you just scroll down here a little bit more in the system settings you will get the thermal profiles and you can change the thermal profiles up to these many options of course i have changed that for the benchmarking apps let's talk about security settings this is how it looks like and if you go into the device unlock in the settings of it we get really cool options like the quick unlock scramble pin layout then the auto confirmation lock and the enhanced pin privacy all these things then if you just go back we have the fingerprint and face unlock both for the face unlock let me tell you that you do not have an option to actually swipe up then use the face unlock it just straight up unlocks once you go into the lock screen for the face unlock but i'll show you the fingerprint scan speed in the more settings i feel a little bit disappointed i would say because i do not find any kind of app lock in this particular rom so i wish there was app lock in this rom now of course double tap to sleep on the status bar is there and we have the pickup gesture turned on and right now let me just show you if i just pick it up on my hand as you can see it shows the clock so the pickup gesture is actually working but i would say it will consume less battery with this dimmed always on display that i have to say but the fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine as you can see let me show you one more time here with the fingerprint scanner unlocking as you can see it straight up unlocks sometimes i would say it doesn't give you uh, animation it just straight up unlocks from the always on display it's very fast i would say but in the lock screen this is how it looks like and if i just tap the fingerprint scanner just notice it unlocks straight up no problems with it as you can see so yeah overall it's a really nice experience to actually unlock the device with a fingerprint scanner it's a very very fast experience overall in terms of basic task yes i would say overall 120 hertz here is actually working even in chrome here it shows about 120 fps here which is rare because most of the ROMs for the Redmi Note 10 Pro does not show 120 FPS in Chrome, even if the display is running at 120 Hertz. But here it is actually showing 120 FPS. So that's a really nice thing to have. And overall, if you just keep opening multiple apps, let me show you here with X. And in here, if I just scroll on X, just notice how smooth it is. Definitely much, much better experience than HyperOS because I was on HyperOS earlier. But here I have to say it is a really smooth experience. No problems whatsoever with this particular ROM. And here, let me actually open Play Store as well. Let's open YouTube as well. And here, if I just try to open all the apps, as you can see, I mean, if I just try to switch the apps, as you can see, all the apps stays in memory. No problems whatsoever with memory management. And everything is really, really smooth. And in the recent channel, this is how it looks like. You can go into the split screen mode or pause the app if you want to. And in here, you will get the screenshot, then the select option. And all the way to the left, if you go right there, in the recent panel, you will get the clear all option. So overall for daily driving, I would say this is a really fast experience that I'm getting over here. And I will definitely give it 10 out of 10 about the performance. And here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall UI performance. Right now, it's pretty much time that I'll show you the customizations of this ROM. Those are present inside this Horizon Labs. If you just tap on it, as you can see, there is the About Team section. Customization panels are separated in this kind of groups. That looks really nice. Definitely different from other ROMs. And in here, firstly, let's go into the Quick Setting panel. We have the Secure Quick Setting tiles and we have the Colored Quick Setting icons as well. Then we have the status bar option and we get the network traffic indicator option if you want to use that you definitely can we have the true data disabled icon and the 4g icon as well in the theme section we have the black theme that's a pitch black option and we have the notification options you can also enable the colored icons if you want to in here in the lock screen we have the power menu access you can disable it for privacy if you want to we have the media cover art as well then we have the miscellaneous settings right here in here you will get the android p style then the enable advanced reboot and the ignore windows secure flags so those are pretty much all the customizations that we are getting over here it's a really light customizable rom that i am seeing over here but maybe in the future you will get much more customization but overall with this light amount of customization the performance stays solid that i have to say here so that pretty much wraps up this horizon droid rom for the redmi note 10 pro let me know in the comments what you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know about this android 14 rom on the redmi note 10 pro guys please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now